Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are taking down my relatively few Valentine's Day decorations. I'm sure as the years go by, I will accumulate more fun items to bring the holiday to life in my house, but for now, I'm happy with what I have. Also, it's probably best that I don't have too much stuff because I don't have a lot of storage space and if I were to put out anything on like tables and stuff within Jack's reach, he would probably find a way to break it. I try my best to teach him to take care of what we have, but I guess my methods just aren't really working. So if you have successfully taught rough kids to respect the items in your home, please drop your tips and tricks down below in the comments. Anyways, now that I think of it, I did add some decor items to my collection this year. One of which was a little painting of treats you will see in a bit. I made it at a Galentine's Day party that one of my friends threw. I honestly can't remember the last time I spent an evening with friends without having my kids and husband around. And while I love my little family, I have to say it was nice to relax and take a break from my normal household wife and mother duties. For all the stay-at-home moms watching, I'm curious to see how often you get a night away from your family to be with friends. Is it once a year, once a month, or once every five years like me? <laughs> One thing I love about my chalk pen decorations is that it takes up zero space in my Valentine's Day decor tub. I love the pop of color and that I can change up the design as I see fit. I even sometimes use my pens to decorate in the bathroom or on the kids' bedroom mirrors. And now that I've started removing the designs using a razor first, the cleanup is a lot quicker too, so I don't mind decorating more areas using this technique. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to, and if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be, you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it I'm also really excited about this pendant light decoration that I created. The first one I ever did was towards the end of Christmas and I wanted an easy way to decorate on top of my pendant lights. So I made this one for Valentine's Day and I'm excited to do Easter next, maybe St. Patrick's Day and you know, other holidays in the year as well. But we both know how to swim, no worries as we'll fall now Let's take it slow, where you go I go to And if you hit the bottom I'm going down So this little pink tree was also an addition to our decor this year. It is actually two of the pink Christmas trees from Dollar Tree that I secured together. I will be setting it aside and redecorating it for Easter, so that's why I'm not like totally taking it down and putting it in its box. If you watched my Decorate With Me video for Valentine's Day, you caught a glimpse of the cute little items that I will be placing on the branches. I anticipate that will happen sometime soon in the coming weeks, especially since Easter is at the end of March. I'm not easy, I drag you out your mind And there are days I hate you, but baby, you're still mine And now we have the best times, no matter what we do And even when we don't, there's nobody I'd rather choose Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm Thank you. 
So now I'm just putting everything away in its tub. This tub will be going up in our master bedroom closet and I will just kind of enjoy a week or two of just normal decorations before getting ready for Easter and St. Patrick's Day as well. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that it gives you the motivation to take down any remaining decorations from Valentine's Day if that's something that you know you've been putting off and I really hope that you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around and I will catch you in the next one. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.